and welcome to day eight of our 12 days of whiskey. And as always, I'm joined by Luke John. Namaste. And today we're breaking into the top five and the fifth best-selling whiskey of the UK is Johnny Walker Black Label. I'm thinking, what a beautiful way to start the new year. Uh, 1st January and cracking open a nice little smoky one. I, I, I think that's my idea of New Year. Happy New Year to you, Luke John. Happy New Year to you as well, mate. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It is an age statement. Um, it is a, a lovely 12-year-old. And what better way to kick off 2024 than with a nice age statement whiskey? Oh, yes. Well... We've already discussed, we've had um, in 11th place, we had Johnny Walker Red, where we went into about where um, the malts, the, the whiskies that are going into it. So I think we said just for this sort of black one, you're going to still be looking for the same base, but they are going to be chucking in some perhaps Isla, and you said Island base uh, whiskies create that sort of more peaty smokiness that we're getting from this one. Um, but yeah, as you say, so it's got an age statement. I think I had incorrectly stated earlier in the series that uh, we only had one age statement. What didn't I when I was talking about the Glenn Fiddick uh, single? But this is age statement. Um, I believe, so I don't know if it is the case, but 2011 they introduced Double Black, I think. And that is just a peatier, smokier version of this. Um, so this is sort of, they, they deemed, well, let's go smokier still. But this is their biggest selling um, whiskey um, in the UK for Johnny Walker. A big bottle of this is going to set you back uh, 27 to £34. Pounds. So I would say you can find perhaps entry single malts at that level, but this is um, an age statement blended whiskey. So I think that's quite decent for its price range that we're looking at. Shall we get this cracked open and out? We shall, mate. We shall. Um, and the good thing is, is because it's a age statement um all blends that go into this must be 12 years at least um yeah. which for me sounds pretty good and i'm rocking this time because now we're in the top five i've brought out a little bit of doubt more just to tighten it up a little bit I do love the old uh, Dalmore emblem. I, I do I do love that. And it's nice to see it's on the branded glassware as well. Ten point stag. Love it. Yes. Um, so on the colour, it's for me, it's coming across like a light golden. Um it, it's not that dark in colour, it's a light golden colour. Yourself, would you look at it that? Yeah, it's kind of like a diluted honey. It's pretty light. Um, but it has got some nice legs on it in the glass as I'm just swirling it around there. it It's not as thin as some of the others that we've had. So I'm looking forward to it. Well, yeah, I, I think we're back for it. And I said, I'm, I'm glad it's sort of, this is a way to start the year. I mean, what a way to go forward. But then again, We've got four more as well after this, and it might not be as good. <laughs> uh, let's let's get into the nose on this one then. Cheers. I'm getting for me. I get some fruity notes, um, bit of honey. But now I'm wondering whether you saying the word honey colour has got honey into my head there. Um but yeah, it's just it's it's like dried fruits and a bit of sweetness. Honey, maybe. Yeah, I mean I'm getting a light smoke vanilla, light citrus to it. Like you said, it is fruity. So you know, that's got something going for it. But yeah, it just it smells. Hopefully, how it's how it's going to taste this one because it does smell rather good. All right, well, moment of truth. Let's go in. Cheers to you all. 
Slanger. Right off the bat, I've just got to say, that must be the smoothest one yet that we've had on here. That just body was so smooth. Um, on the taste, I, I'm getting the sort of slight fruitiness coming through on it with the nose. A slight fruitiness, I'm not saying massive. And then there's sort of like... Um, you know, spices, uh, I'd say you know, cinnamon slightly or something along those lines that, that's coming in there. But that is really nice. Really, really nice. Yeah, it's kind of got this oily, silky, smooth. There's no heat burn. Um, it's not lingering, although you're still just on that mid tongue on that mid palate you're still getting that little bit of sweetness a little bit of smoothiness slight bit of pepper um but yeah it's very balanced really is balanced um i mean i don't know if it's will change if it opens up a bit who knows but so far i'm enjoying what i'm drinking yeah, that, that as you were saying, that pepper though, um, there is that peppery notes towards the end that are hanging around. Um, but straight up, it's smooth. Bit of you know the, the spices and fruit, and then you get the smoke and pepper. But I, I, that's what you're saying, like no heat at all with it, which is really really nice. Which makes it. I mean, that bodes really well when you've got something that smooth and then you haven't got any alcohol heat burn from it. That just, wow, makes it so easy. Now, this is, don't forget, made for generally, you you can drink this neat. A lot of the other ones we have are mixers. So, I mean, there is a different expectations for this, isn't it? Um, I, I want to go in for a second swig, uh, just see if I get anything else out of it. So for me on the finish, there's just a very slight bitterness to it. Very slight. But it's kind of there just to tail off a little bit of sweetness on the mid palate. But again, it is so silky smooth. You could enjoy that just with a cube or two. Yeah. That's the thing. Some whiskies, um, especially when you're looking at some of the single malts, occasionally you might need uh, a bit of water to open them up and give it a bit more rounded flavour. I don't think this needs anything like that at all. It's perfectly fine to have neat as it is. 40%, it doesn't give away, in a sense, the Amy V of it. It doesn't fill anywhere like 40. And it's just so smooth. It is just so easy and smooth. And as I said, Smokiness, got to love some smokiness. That smokiness is there. It's not massively overpowering. It is just a very gentle smokiness, which goes to prove that the base is probably the same as the other Johnny Walkers, just they've added in some from Isla, but not a massive amount. You don't need much to change the peat level, do you, really? No, and unlike with the red label, it, it was a, I think the red label was a little bit more smokier. Well, I think that comes in with the heat where it kind of opens up. Um, but this is so balanced. You've kind of got that citrus, vanilla, oak, bitterness, just that oily, silky. I don't know. I, I can't think of a better way just to describe 2024 already, but to be honest, other than silky smooth. I, I think, yeah, I think this is good. I really like it. I, I've had it many times, um, and I know it's good. I've had double black as well, and I actually prefer the black over the double black. Coming from me, a person who loves Pete, that's uh, that's something at that stage. But this is a really, really good whiskey, um, and I can see why it's in the top five. Um, should it have been higher? Maybe, but the price point, you know, 
sort of uh, is what sets the difference. Once you see what the, what our top four remaining ones are, you'll understand how impressive this is to be able to get into the top five for its price point. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that was amazing. 2024 is off to a great start. And long may it continue. Well, not too long, just, just enough. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Take care, everyone. Bye. Feliz Adenova. Adios.